You might be an office worker, but today we're off ice workers. So what is off ice skating? Well, you might look at it with the naked eye and go, it kind of looks like a roller skate, but with so many differences. The difference is being that the wheels have an inside and an outside edge, so that each wheel is chamfered like this, so you can lean one way or another, and the whole wheel section is shaped on an arc, so you can actually spin on one wheel at a time, which would enable an ice skater, an ice skater such as me and Hayley, to actually do certain elements that you would never be able to do on rollerblades. Hayley, what did you, have you found about the, the fitness merits of skating? What's it done to your body? I lost quite a bit of weight doing dancing on ice. It just really tones your body up. The, no, the thing I've noticed about the off-ice skates is it's actually, it makes your body work even harder than ice skating. Really? Yesterday I did an hour's training with Dan and this morning I feel like I've worked my bum knackered. muscles for three weeks. So it, you, you have to push a lot harder and really use your legs on the off-ice skate. And it is an all-over body workout. So whenever you take to the ice, even as a beginner, you'll start to feel the merits immediately or the benefits of ice skating immediately because it does work on core strength. Um, you're constantly microbalancing, which means that you're always adjusting your body weight, which means you're always engaging all of your body muscles. You do need to exercise outside of the uh, boudoir as well as in the boudoir, uh, trying the bathroom, the kitchen table, yep. uh, garden, yeah, and the shed. Hammock. It did change my body shape totally when I did dancing on ice. Uh, my bum went up, went round and up, <laughs> stomach went in. It's gone back down again. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> and uh, over 50, you don't expect it to have any effect. Over um, 50? Yeah. Look at how I am. I'm old enough to be your mum. God, you don't know what that does to us, young lads. Just that, just no, that statistic. Muscle to muscle. Yeah. What muscles are used in ice skating that you didn't use in football? It gives you great thighs and buttocks. But you already <laughs> have that for skate. I think ice, ice skating, you probably engaged your arms and your shoulders a lot more yeah. than. It's a full body workout. And the only proof is, is come and watch me when I get off the ice because I'm absolutely drenched in sweat. So well, I'm, I'm pretty much drenched already. <laughs> anyway. I think that might be the 40 degree heat. Skate. What was your thoughts when you were watching all that? The demonstration of the off ice skate? I thought it was pretty good actually, uh, it's just as exciting, they moved just as eloquently I think across the, uh, in fact if you didn't know they went on ice and you were just looking at the top part, uh, it would look much different I don't think. What it is, it's an in between stage, if you can't get to the ice, if you are seasonal, if you're limited to get to an ice rink, this is an option and you know anyone that skates it's a great thing as far as we're concerned. Could you possibly get any further from an ice scenario? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. It's a great way to do ice skating without the ice, isn't it? But you wouldn't normally be ice skating with sun on your face. No, no you wouldn't. What other ways oh, of keeping oh, fit are you engaging? Shopping. Uh, shopping. <laughs> I mean, shopping is effectively a cardio Shopping is. It's quite a workout. If you do it well, if you shop well, it's a workout. It is. Yeah, absolutely. Good yeah. The <laughs> there. Yeah, the bikes yeah. are heavy. And you, you walk kind of... a fair distance, you know. It's, it's not just pleasure. Jane Torville and Karen Palmer there giving specific fitness tips for girls who like to engage in a bit of retail therapy. I've recently filmed uh, an off-ice skating fitness DVD. You can buy that, learn how to skate while you're keeping fit. All this off-ice hockey skating, um, slalom, speed skating. There's a lot of areas that you could pick. It doesn't have to be just ice skating or yeah. off-ice skating. You can pick what you want to do and go to town and there's no restriction on venues. Go to your local park, even in your driveway. I want to drive down a street and see people skating in a driveway. That would mean that we've done our job well.